everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. I am so excited to be here today. We are doing our next advent calendar. And if you haven't been here before, I'm really excited you're here to join me because what I do in this particular video is I open up two calendars. One is a calendar I have purchased. This is the Miss Lynn calendar. And another one that I open is from my own collection. So these are products that I want to test, I want to try, I want to see if they're worth keeping my collection. And then I come back every two weeks to tell you if I'm keeping or decluttering them. So that's super cool. Let's talk about what happened two weeks ago. Because um, I opened really one great product and one duplicate product, and the really great product is such a surprise for me. So I said the store-bought calendar is Miss Lynn. This is a brand I find here in Germany, even though I'm an American citizen, I live here in Germany. And this is the Miss Lynn shiny lip color in the shade 79. Oh my god, do you like what I'm wearing today? It's beautiful. I love it so much. Okay, so it just looks like this. I initially thought it was an eyeliner. It is not. I mean, okay, first of all, look, I've actually like really, really used this. <laughs> I love it. This thing is great. Um, it, well, it's what I'm wearing today. It just has a light pinkiness, but this great gloss on the lips. It is super smooth. You guys know I love to rub my lips together like this. You can like watch the videos where I'm just like doing that when something like makes me happy or I'm thinking or you know, it's just like, it's an emotion of <laughs> thought or wonderfulness. When I rub my lips together, I just like doing that. And this is perfect. It's just like a my lip but better. It just, I don't know. It's just really, it's good. It's good. Ah, Miss Lynn. This is my first time ever trying this brand. And the first two ones I've opened are great. So I'm really excited to see what's, I'm looking over here because the box is like right there and I'm like, I'm so excited to see what's in there today. <laughs> so excited. Uh, now the duplicate product, I had mentioned when I opened it, oh, it reminds me of the eyeshadow I'm wearing today. So this is the Milani Luminous Lights in O2, the Hypnotic Lights one. This is a dual chrome highlighter. This is white that shifts pink. Um, and this particular one is, it is really pretty. Like you can see that right there. It is really, really pretty. Um, this pink is a fuchsia pink that it flashes to. So the I initially had put it with my eyeshadow. So I put my eyeshadow on one cheek and I put this on the other cheek and they are different. So the eyeshadow that I put, I'm not wearing this today, I put on um, had like a purple uh flash slash sparkle to it. I didn't, I couldn't quite tell which it was. It was almost like it was both. Um, so I am keeping the eyeshadow. This one, however, is very similar to the NYX Dual, uh, Dual Chromatic Illuminating Powder, and this is in Snow Rose. I, you know, I don't know if you see this. I tried to pan this at one time, and I got a nice dip to it, but I didn't get all the way. That's what it looks like in comparison. So very, very similar, as you can see. <laughs> But if you swatch it next to it, instead of flashing almost like a fuchsia, this one flashes a very subtle rose shade. And while yes, that rose is still pink, it is different um, enough, and it's different in a better way. I'll say this, the fuchsia flashes just a little too brightly against my skin tone, and that's not the quite the look I'm going for right now. I think if you're into bolder makeup than I am, I think it is absolutely beautiful. I think. If you even had like a darker skin tone, maybe when I'm tan, I'd like the fuchsia better. But right now, I'm really leaning towards more of the NYX Snows, Snows Rose. That's not right. <laughs> the NYX Snow Rose. And because I'm leaning more towards this one, I'm deciding to get rid of the Milani one. They really are very similar. Just the Milani has more of that fuchsia, fuchsia bright flash. And the Snow Rose is a little bit more subtle while still leaning towards that pink. It's just personal preference. So it's my first declutter of the year. I've opened up four products and I'm decluttering one. This is exactly why I do this. I don't want these products to go bad. I will find that highlighter a good home with someone who's really gonna love it. So let's open up my next calendar, shall we? The next day. And when I went to random.org, when I went to random.org, I got number 18. So let's get to 18. This one did not fit into my essence boxes, so I had to wrap it myself. And it looks like some sort of stick product. So let's see. I'm pretty sure it's going to be an eyeliner. I am correct. 
This is the Xena or Mina or Threna. <laughs> The eyeliner pencil and I got in the shade 602. I believe this is a brown. I bought this when I went to London with one of my girlfriends when I was living here in Germany. One of the first trips I took. Oh, aha, uh -huh, interesting. It's actually a gold. Interesting. This might be perfect time of year for this. I have, oh, it's not as creamy as it, oh no, did I break it? Oh man, look at that. It just slid right on out there. All right, we're gonna shove it back in. That is disappointing. It totally feels like it's 100% dried out. That is such a bummer. Yeah, it's all dried out all the way down. All right, well, that's what happens when you don't use your products. I'm gonna be finding this more and more, you guys know. It's, it's just the reality. So, this is already a declutter. That is a bummer, because it looks like a really pretty gold. I don't know if that's what it's swatched. I mean, not good, but it looks pretty. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what we're gonna try from the Miss Lynn calendar. Oh, man, all right. Look how big this thing is. Hallelujah. <laughs> Number 18 is over here. We got a square thing, which means it could be pretty much anything. So let's open it up. Oh, interesting, they give you a foundation. I hope this is my shade. Okay. So this is the Mislin Matte Souffle Foundation in 580, and it looks it looks much deeper than my skin tone. I will not be opening this up. Should I open up another number? Because I can't use either of these products. <laughs> um, what should I do? What should I do? I wish you guys were here to tell me what to do right now. Because if I open up another one right now, it means that my numbers will be off like later on in the year. Should I just do it anyways to have something to test? And I'll just end this project a little earlier. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Okay, let's go back to random.org. <laughs> okay, okay, generate. 16. Let's go 16. Um, 16, 16, 16, where are you? Okay, we're gonna go back here because this is next to me. 16 is gonna be right here. This is the Miss Lynn Metal Wonder Matte Lip Creme or Cream in Golden Truffle 02. This looks like a gold. This looks like a really bright gold. But let's open it up and see what it says. I initially like my thought right off the top is, oh, I don't know if this is gonna be my color either. It didn't give me like an idea of what shades might be in the box. I think the shades are kind of like a crapshoot personally. So it's kind of interesting to see that they would put in like a foundation or things that weren't like kind of neutral that most, you know, skin tones could go for. But maybe I'm wrong. Like maybe this is something that will work great for my skin tone. That is the color there. It's interesting. I, I don't know how I feel about it. I'll have to try it on my skin tone. It's not, um, it, it doesn't initially grab me. But you never know. Like things like this, that's just what you have to do. You have to try it. I was thinking if that was actually an eyeshadow, that'd be really pretty. But it it says matte lip cream. Can I use lip creams on my eyes? Let me know. Can you use lip creams on your eyes? I'm uncertain about that. I kind of just do what they tell me to do on the packaging. Interesting. I don't know if that's going to dry down. All right, let me go to mine and pick number 16. All right, this is one that is in an essence box. We got number 16 right here. Uh, let's see what we got going on. Ooh, okay, NARS, I see you. This is the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm. Okay, I bought this, and it's in the shade Orgasm. I bought this when NARS started expanding their Orgasm collection because I wanted Orgasm blush for so long, and I have a mini of it. And when I saw that they came out with this, I actually was just like, oh buddy, yeah, it doesn't matter, I want it. It's total nostalgia for me, because I wish that, that I had that blush for so long, like, since probably I was in middle school, but I couldn't, because it was the word orgasm, and I couldn't have that in my house. Growing up, my parents did not want me to have makeup that, you know, was more mature, and I totally get it, plus it was really expensive. Um, my babysitting money would only go so far. <laughs> But, oh, oh, look, I haven't even swatched it yet. Oh, I'm going to wait till I put this on my lips. It's going to be that moment of, like, pure bliss when I put this on my lips. It's like, 
you know those small joys in life when you like first touch an eyeshadow powder you just put I don't want to swatch it I want my first joy just like be putting this on my lips but it is a peach with gold reflect in it it looks um, a little bit tamer than the blush does <laughs> in full honesty but the glow gold reflex i think will be really pretty so i'm like so excited to try this one out and see how i like it yay okay thank you so much for watching i look forward to coming back in two weeks to see if we should keep everything if we're going to declutter everything one never knows what might happen but thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day happy panning and i'll see you in my next one bye